believe I know everyone in the room, but in case you don't know me, I'm among the brethren that meet together in Delaware. Um, so it's my intention to report both on the ways that God has answered your prayers. I know some of you have been praying for us about some specific things, and also to report on things that God has been teaching and ministering to us as an assembly. Um, and I also wanted to give thanks for Brother Given and his ministry, and for the brethren out here, because I don't know that we would have a ministry in Delaware without that. Um, God used Brother Given and the faithful recording of sermons and messages and writing things down to bring us an understanding and increase our ability to see the things of the Lord. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, <clears throat> first, I want to share some things that we have been going through that are unique to our body in Delaware and how God has used us, used that to show us some things about himself. Um, one of the things was already mentioned in our prayer time together as a body here, and that is um, the suffering that our brethren are going through, um, Olmstead brethren in particular, and Sister Casey Stokes, with witnessing um, a physical hardship of one of their loved ones, and being able to see God's purpose in it, um, and being convicted that God is over all things, and what he chooses to do is right, and is good, um, and some of the things that we've been able to see our brothers, that me, brothers and sisters um, experience and be convicted of as they walk through this is um, a very present understanding and knowledge that we are to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the result of this is that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Um, this is something that I have been able to see um, through Sister Casey Stokes as she is faithfully following the Lord through this, to not be anxious about what lies ahead, but knowing that God is over all things. And that whenever there's a thought or care that comes up, to make those petitions to the Lord and ask for understanding in that and for his guidance and direction and to see the Lord minister peace directly to her and her walking in that has been very good to see. And us seeing that in her has also created that and grown that in each of us um, as a body. Um, one of the other things that we've been able to see as we're um, experiencing this suffering is that we look for the mercies that are ministered, ministered to us new each day. God offers new mercies every day. And if you look for them, you're, you're very much blessed and find strength to endure whatever it is that he calls you to endure. Um, <clears throat> there's a new level of thankfulness and rejoicing amongst our body, or uh, amongst our body of Christ in Delaware. Um, as every breath, it seems like small things, every ray of sunshine and good day and good weather, good conversation, good fellowship, every good gift that you experience, we've experienced, we give thanksgiving to God for that. To not take any of that for granted, because we know none of us are guaranteed another moment, another day, and that's really been um, present in our thinking when we know that one, someone that we love very dearly is facing death sooner than the rest of us. Um, I, I mentioned this already, but <clears throat> knowing the the sovereignty of God. He created all things. All things were made for him and by him and are uphold, held by the word of his power. And whatever he chooses to do is right and good. And we've been more fully convicted of that over this past year. Um, and along with this, we know that present sufferings are not equal to glory that will be revealed to all of us. Uh, we won't think about that when we get to glory, the things that we had to go to to get there, but we're convicted now that they're actually for our good. They're working for us. While we may feel at times they're working against us, they're actually being employed to refine us and perfect us for glory, um, to rid us of things that will actually impede us um, from serving the Lord. Um, Along with this, we know that all things are working together for the good of those that love God and are called according to his purpose. We've been given the ability to see this higher view of things and not just an earthly perspective. Um, 
as far as um, those are some of the things that I've been able to see that God is growing in our brethren that are so close to this suffering, but God is also working amongst the Boyd brethren and us as we've been blessed to see their faith as they're walking through this. We've been able to see that God's grace truly is sufficient for every, tri every need that we would have. And we can see that they are walking by faith and God is providing the help along the way to get them through this. Um, we've also been able to see that God's provision is necessary. We cannot stand unless he allows us to stand and holds us up. And it's also timely. He doesn't provide the help we need until we need it. Um, when one, of the, one member, we are one body, this has already been stated, but when one body is hurting, we hurt with that, that member. Sorry, when one member of the body is hurting, we, we hurt with that member. And we personally have felt that deeply. We rejoice with those that rejoice, and we mourn with those who mourn. That's something God has taught us over this year. Um, and God is able to teach us how to minister to those that are hurting, how to bring a word of comfort, give us wisdom in the words that we speak. And God has done that um, with us as a body this year and we, we want to give thanksgiving for your prayers for us on that behalf because it was a concern where none of us have walked through this before what do we say what do we do and god has been faithful in directing and guiding our thoughts um, our meetings and he's increased the unity that we enjoy among one another so that we are more perceptive he's heightened our um our intention to be considerate of one another. And in considering one another, he allows you to see what another brother or sister needs. And we've, we've been thankful for that. Um, we've come to understand that it's more blessed to give and receive. We've been on the receiving end of um, blessings from many brethren that have come and visited us. We have a, a yearly meeting in June a preaching f festival that we call Consider Christ, which all of you are welcome to come and visit us in Delaware if you ever want to. We're more than willing to find housing and make a way for you to be with us. And we're so blessed by that time and the encouragement and the, the labors of the brethren that meet with us to um, speak words of truth and are intentionally um, wanting to edify and build up and encourage. Um, but we also have been very, very blessed in being able to minister and offer hospitality because the first time we came out here, we were so blessed with experiencing firsthand the love that the brethren had for all the saints. And it's been a blessing to us to be able to kind of return that and um, show that same love to the saints that come out and visit us in Delaware. Um, we can see um, as we fellowship in this suffering with the Olmstead brethren and the Stokes brethren, how um, suffering has been used for good in all of us. There's a greater urgency in our preaching amongst our fellowship. There's a greater fervency in our prayers for one another. Um, there's a greater seeking for heavenly things. You're really sobered in your thinking when um, somebody is experiencing um, a closeness with death. There's an increased love that we have for one another. And there's a greater union. I give thanks to God for this because there's, there's, it's not always like this. Um, there may be seasons where you feel like maybe it loves growing cold among the brethren and the Lord is quick and able to rekindle that and fortify the bonds among the brethren and knit your heart together even tighter than it ever was before. And we've experienced that and I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Because God, God gave us a body for a reason. There's one body with many members, with many different talents and gifts, and every member is necessary and needed. And I'm just speaking for myself here, but that's something the Lord has taught me. Another thing that's unique um, to our fellowship, I don't know if you've looked around at the Boyd Brethren and us, but half of our fellowship is young children. <laughs> so there's some things that's unique um, that we've had to learn 
over the past, I guess, four years that we've been meeting together that might not be as common among some of the other brethren out here. But instead of having older brethren available to teach us and share wisdom from their life, our children have actually taught us a lot of things. <laughs> among this is um, the, uh, a greater understanding of what charity and love is and the patience and kindness and long suffering that's involved with, um, with loving and being forgiving and helping to teach our children to be this amongst one another and, and being this way with our kids. Um, we've also have, had to learn um, how to do all things as unto the Lord. During our meetings, there's usually one brother preaching while the wife's there trying to um, keep the kids quiet while also getting something else ready. And we've learned how to, to grow in this doing all things unto the Lord. And as us young moms, sometimes you could feel like being at home, the mundane tasks are, you know, I wish I could be out doing something greater, going around preaching to people or holding Bible studies, and that's just not always an option, but you really are, whatever you do, you're able to do it heartily as unto the Lord, and the Lord's still teaching us this and growing us in our understanding of this. Along with the young kids, we've been learning how to be efficient in our meeting, um, making sure that every word that is spoken is unto edification is purposeful, not being wasteful with our words and our time, but being considerate of one another in that way and making the most of our time together because we know we have a short time with the kids being able to withstand. Um, we've understood as with having young children that there's a necessity of a daily reliance on the Lord and a violent taking the kingdom by force. We all can say that, that we know this necessity with the little ones, it's taught us there's so many things that we have to throw off minute by minute because of all of their needs and being purposeful in serving the Lord and not letting our flesh have the ability to take hold and lash out in anger or be impatient, but really relying on the Lord minute by minute to help us walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh. One thing that's really been opened up too is that children are not a distraction. Children are a blessing from the Lord. And they're given to us as a stewardship and a primary ministry to us in our households. Um, we've come to grow in our understanding that we're not called to love in word only, but in deed and truth. Love is, is, an, is an action, it's shown forth. You can't just say things, but you have to actually walk in that and show forth your charity and your consideration of the brethren. I've really appreciated some of the messages that have been preached of the word of truth here recently because that's helped me grow in my understanding of that. Um, God's people also have a great need of assurance. And this is something that's been open up to us to know that your sins have been forgiven. You can come freely to the throne of grace to find help and grace in your time of need. Um, Area, there are areas that we desire to go. When I mention all these things, these are things that the Lord is continuing to teach us. We in no way have arrived. We have a lot of <laughs> growth to make. We desire to be faithful with what the Lord has given us, and specifically in recording and writing down the things that we say and do so that when we don't see you, brethren, very often, we can at least share with you some of what we do and know that we're still keeping the faith in Delaware. We're continuing to believe um, that we love the Lord, so we'd appreciate your prayers that we would continue, um, or we'd be more faithful in recording and writing things down so that we could share them with you. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to share, more specific to Brother Pat and I, but I know a lot of you brethren have been praying about our business at the factory, and I just wanted to say how much we appreciate that in God answering your prayers and providing everything that we have needed along the way that the business is prospering and it's been a blessing to us and allowed us the freedom to travel and do things like this and also ministry opportunities to really talk about the Lord with some people that come in the door. Um, so I just wanted to mention that and thank you for that. <clears throat>